One of the first things that I felt about Austin was this sense of place. The fact that you had literally a river running through the town and a place that you could go every day. It was very special aesthetically and socially and spiritually. When somebody sees Austin and says how beautiful and wonderful it is, I always say, we had to work hard to get it this way and we have to work hard to keep it this way. Do you know how Austin got so much open green space for a city this size? No, I don't. I moved here and it was like that. Hmm. The newcomers, I think, don't readily understand what went on in the past but I think they come here because of that. They just don't understand how it got there. Roberta Crenshaw is the soul of the environmental movement in Austin. She was on the Parks Board for 15 years. I think having been to Europe and having seen the major cities and the way they had their parks and the way they had treated their environs of their cities, you know, was totally impressed on my mind. Roberta saw in Austin the potential to build on the city's natural beauty. She had the vision of the system, and she made it happen. It was the vision of not just having a park system, but of having a National League world class park system. Roberta looked at that lake and said, this is a, a really wonderful opportunity. The system was that you just used the riverfront because it was a good place to dump your old tires or your old commode. People didn't value the waterfront. It was not only the things that she accomplished, it was the disasters that she stopped. They had some of the craziest ideas. They were going to do what was called Little Texas. They were going to have a submarine in the lake. They wanted to sky ride across the lake. They were the people that had always run Austin and and uh, they'd elect their mayor, and the mayor made most decisions, and the council members just sat back and, and didn't study the issues, and just said yes, and they had short meetings, and that was it. History records that it only took one snake and one little woman to ruin the most beautiful garden on Earth. I harbor no ill will at all against Roberta. I think what she uh, wound up accomplishing was good. But it was just that she made a lot of enemies along the way, and people want to live in the attractive parts. Those are the same pieces of land that the environmentalists target. Austin is going to have to develop a philosophy about parks, and they're going to have to, to share the visions of the parks department and our planners in order for us to be able to be effective. Austin, Texas, with its uniqueness should have been preserved to its fullest at the earliest point it could be touched. And I'm telling you, that was getting out of hand when I was on the park board. You don't realize what it does to your body to always hit up against that brick wall. There was a lot of stress meeting all these roadblocks, and that's one reason why Roberta had her stroke. You know, it's a matter of life and death. Yes, it was hard, and no matter how hard it was, she kept going, and she pushed that rock up the hill. I think her force of will was intrinsic. I think she came with it. What will become the environmental movement in Austin became that on not the backs of the conservationists, but we grew out of what the conservationists were doing. And that's their lasting contribution. You're dealing with somebody that's uh, spent a lot of her time, I'm afraid, looking after everybody else's business and trying to reform the world. 
you know, I just feel like uh, the challenge of beauty ought to be everyone's challenge.